All right, so here we are with uh, the May edition of the, oops, I guess we're going to allow viewer number nine to join, whoever that is. <laughs> Let's see here, viewer nine. Uh, I'll ask them who they are in a minute. All right, um, welcome to the May edition of the uh, Awareness uh, DNN Ecosystem Advisory Group. Uh, and so, for anybody viewing recording afterwards, oh, okay, viewer number nine, who is that? JR. JR. Hello, JR, viewer Sorry. number nine. Sorry, I'm um, No worries. Let's see, uh, so let me uh, update this with our attendees. Oops. And then Jeremy just joined as well. All right. So for anybody that's uh, watching this recording, and if you're not aware of, oh, aware, yeah, there we go. If you're, if you're not aware of what the awareness group is, uh, what we do is we try to uh, increase awareness of DNN across not just the ecosystem, um, but also across other ecosystems. Um, so anything that we can do to achieve those goals, that's that's what we try to focus on. Um, and so far, this is uh, our attendee list this month. Uh, we're a little bit light than usual, um, and you know, I'm not sure why, but maybe everybody's kind of uh, jolted from the various springs that we're all experiencing right now. All right, uh, so the agenda. So here's our, our monthly agenda. So we're going to review our primary goals, uh, to discuss any progress since previous meeting, uh, set any goals that we need to set for next month, uh, and review our long-term goals just as a recap. And we're going to talk about DNN Connect, and this should be review, but uh, take that out. And then open forum. Uh, the open forum, uh, we there will be two parts to that, the part that we discuss uh, in public, and then we'll stop the recording and, and see if there's anything else we need to discuss outside of the recording. All right, so uh, is, is there anything anybody wants to add to the agenda? Is, are we good? All right. Silence is golden, as I say, although I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Um, you know, this is everybody's group. All right, so uh, our primary goals, uh, make sure we champion or co-champion something. Uh, so if you're not already in a group, uh, please feel free to uh, let me know and we'll try to match you up with something. Uh, the other thing is, and, and you know, I always kind of say this, but I don't think it's a big ask. We all need to do at least two things in a month. Uh, you know, and, and so, again, those things can be little, they can be huge. Uh, it's completely up to you. It's based upon, you know, what you're able to get done and, and, and whatnot during, during you know, an entire 30 days. I, I think we can spend 20 minutes uh, at least each month doing something to help increase the, the um, awareness of DNN. And one of those things could, of course, be the generating of a snowball effect. So, you know, one of those two things could be us helping somebody else know that they can do what we're doing. Right. They can create a blog. They can uh, post out there in Twitter, in the Twitterverse, you know, on Facebook or whatnot. They can help answer questions in the forums. Um, so helping encourage other people to do what we've been doing for years. Right. And, and that's that's one of the primary ways we're going to grow is, is by, you know, generating that kind of viral effect where we're helping other people do what we do. And the other thing is keeping in constant contact. And so uh, and and especially with each other in this group, but also, you know, across uh, other groups as well. All right, <clears throat> community tools review. Uh, so, Mr. Clint, I've been putting you on the hook for this because you've been uh, doing the most work with this. The last we heard, I believe you were having the DNA Club team test this. Where are we at with this? I don't think that it's been installed. Um, Ash said so there's a JIRA item for it. And um, I think the person that I had uh, assigned it to had not uh, implemented it. No, actually, what, what uh, the guy came back and said there was a bug, right? And I'm trying, I'm trying to think back <clears throat> into the um, what all happened. Well, I mean, it's software, so it's guaranteed there's a bug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the guy said there was a bug, and he was looking for. Okay, yeah. Now I remember. He said there was a bug. He was looking for the source uh, code. I gave him the source code, and I, I don't have any updates on it. All right. 
No, I, I, I get it. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. That's that's one of our. This is one of our kind of speed bumps to several other things. So uh, the sooner we can start to get that working, and uh, the sooner we can get some other stuff done. All right. Thanks for your update, Clint. Uh, Deanne, can I? Well, could you just um, remind at least me about what these tools are for? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, great, great point, especially for anybody that might be seeing this video for the first time. Uh, so if I ever uh, miss that on any of these items, uh, please feel free to chime in, uh, anybody that, that notices that happens. Um, so the Hotcakes Community Tools. So for anybody that isn't aware of that, uh, hotcakes.org, or the Hotcakes Commerce website, has a number of um, community-centric tools that were built to help the, comp or the community sustain itself and, and uh, grow and, and by way of receiving um, uh, rewards for their efforts, right? And so, you know, if they're, if they're doing things like answering forum posts or uh, creating uh, issues in GitHub or uh, doing a pull request in GitHub uh, and a number of other things, creating a blog post, uh, they can get credit for those activities. And then there's a leaderboard that shows their, their position in the community and, and how they got there. Right, and and so there's also tie-ins to other things like uh, showcases, uh, so creating showcase sites and, and them getting credit for it, uh, being part uh, and creating a company in the, in the partner directory, and then anybody who's in the community participating, the company gets credit for that, and then the and just like the community leaderboard, there's a partner directory that's ranked based upon the activity that the community their 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 employees have had in the community. Um, so the idea behind this is that we're going to try to repurpose some of that uh, IP, and, and Arrow uh, ha, uh, Digital has um, uh, generously, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, donated the source code. Um, and so the idea is that we're going to use that as our, our kind of springboard to create our own tools for the dnnsoftware.com website. And so that way we can do some of the same things, and, and in some cases automate some of the things that uh, would otherwise be manual. Is that a good description for you, Joe? Okay. Okay. No, so, okay. so no, that's great. That's great. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and as an example, uh, one of the one of our uh, areas of focus that we are going to talk about down below is the community dashboard, and and that's um, one of the one of the things that this is hinging upon. Um, uh, this this is going to help us build that. All right. Any other questions about the Hotcakes community tools? <clears throat> All right, Community Connect 2018. Do we have anybody in the meeting today that has any planner information? No, it doesn't look like David's in here. No, David. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to uh, DNN shame him uh, online or something. All right. Uh, anybody else have any um, updates with this? I, I know there's been some posts in the DN Connect uh, Facebook group. I, I think there were some uh, some sort of what is it discount or something that happened, but it has probably gone about come and gone at this point, right? Well, the, the main thing is that the the, the sessions have been have been published. Uh, any any interesting ones? Oh, they're all interesting. <laughs> Do any stand out more than the others? I think that's a better way to ask that. I guess not. Nobody's looked at them. Y'all are a uh, very tired group today. And if anybody's talking and I'm not responding to you, it's because you're on mute. <laughs> All right. This group has no opinion whatsoever. <laughs> I just I just want to speak up and tell you we are here and we are listening intently. <laughs> okay. 
All right. All right. Go to this. It's at the end of the month. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, see if I can go to that, but uh, just to think with uh, clients may be bad timing. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still tentative on going to this conference myself. And I think we have at least two from our group going tonight. I know we got Clint going. Um, I forget who else said they were going from last month. I'm going. JR. Oh, JR. Okay. Could JR and Clint are going? Yeah, it's going to be exciting to have Clinton European Conference, but I think I said that last one. All right, cool. Um, so, hey, at, Clinton, at, at, least it's, at least it's not in Finland, right? <laughs> All right, backstory. Uh, we're not going to do that. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so champions and updates. So these are the different areas that we're focusing on. Um, and actually, curriculum and training. There was something that I noticed last a month that I need to fix. Curriculum and uh, I'm going to have to figure that out after the meeting. I'm not going to bore you guys with it now. Anyhow, so these are the different areas that we have uh, to focus on. So if anybody's not part of these or if you're watching this video and you want to help with one of these items, please do let me know. Right. Uh, so the first thing is the community dashboard. Um, and so the community dashboard is something that we're going that we have planned to create to help us understand what the health of the community is, uh, to see what impact we're having uh, across the ecosystem. So uh, we're going to end up showing things in a very consumable way uh, to show us trends about like, you know, how are, how are we doing in the forums? How are we doing with Q&A? How are we doing in GitHub? Uh, how are we doing across all these different areas? And, and, and so to give us an idea of where do we need to focus? Where are we focusing too much? Um, and, and so on. So we can make uh, we can make data-driven decisions instead of us doing things, you know, that are based upon anecdotal evidence. You know, like we might be living in a little bubble where we're constantly looking at forums, and so our opinion might be like, hey, we need to do this, this, and this with the forums. Uh, whereas maybe the forums are, you know, the activity is actually great. It's just your, your perspective of it is different, right? And so that's what the uh, that's one of the main purposes of the community dashboard. And with that being said. Um, we are still in limbo on the hotcake stuff. However, uh, in limbo, kind of. Um, I actually have a copy of the source code that, hey, Jay, I need to send to you. Um, send source to Jay. Because, Jay, I think you're, are you, are you going to be the primary um, champion on this one? Yeah, I'm happy to. It's fine. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to send the source code to you sometime today for this, um, so that way you can take a look at it, and 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 then in our in our channel in in Slack, uh, let's start to build a plan. And you know, if we have to have meetings or whatever, let's schedule those, and and uh, let's get some traction on this this month. Does that sound good? All right. That sounds good. Excellent, excellent. And and to that end, all groups, all champions, um, and co-champions, whatnot. Uh, Let's, you know, between our meetings or actual monthly meetings, you know, whatever you can do to have a meeting, have a plan, and, you know, no matter how small that traction is, uh, please do uh, whatever that is. And if you need, need us to try to facilitate some sort of uh, meeting software or something, just you know, feel free to reach out. All right, so, so by this time next month, we should have uh, – my, my goal here is – and, Jay, you know, uh, actually, I'll let you say what your goal is, but my idea is – um, by this time next month, we should have a plan. Uh, we shouldn't necessarily have any code, uh, you know, finalized, but we should have a plan of some kind. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. I'd say, you know, by next month, we should at least have the metrics defined in terms of what we're going to be measuring, whether it's, you know, GitHub contributions, forums, whatever. But yeah, we should have the metrics defined. And, uh, I'll at least a, a top code review to see what's up there and uh, how easy it is to customize. Yep. And so that should result in a plan forward, whatever. All right. Cool. Excellent. Thanks, Jay. Um, and going back to Jay. <laughs> uh, so D uh, DNN homepage messaging. This kind of got put on to kind of in, put into limbo for about a month, and it's primarily because we haven't been able to get a meeting set up with this. So uh, I'm going to take the um, what do you call it? I'm going to take responsibility for this. Uh, Will to 
set up a meeting specific because right now we can't talk about it today without uh, Thompson um, specifically making sure Jay and Thompson are in attendance. So um, it seems like our Fridays were pretty good for this particular meeting um, for the homepage of message messaging. Oh, and let me back up. Um, the for anybody watching this online so uh the goal this this area of interest this is where we're uh focusing on the dnmsoftware.com website to help increase the awareness of the community and dnm platform and grow uh, uh our community uh, via the website so uh we're coming up with plan design and, and messaging uh to to meet that particular goal so uh, jay and thompson you both uh, created some really good plans and so uh, the next step was to kind of merge those ideas and work together to get us to the next stage of, uh, of presenting a uh, proposal to Andy uh, for, for uh, the CEO of DNN Court. But our next step is to as a group um, look over where we are and, and figure out how to get to that point, right? Um, yep. Yeah, and I would also just like to encourage everybody that's on this call or listening to this uh, to go into the Slack channel and read the the presentations or the, the kind of the official documents that are out there from me and Thompson. Just kind of get caught up where the discussion is, get your input. That would be helpful. What's the Slack channel name or hashtag or whatever it is? And, uh, looks like. Oh, well. DNN Awareness Advisory Group, I think. Oh, no, no. Um. For the channel, it is goals-dnn-site-message. <laughs> Perfect. Um. <laughs> All right, so next step for the for entire group, because this is going to impact the entire ecosystem, uh, everyone in our group to uh, review and, and any comments they might have missed and, and, and uh, put in, give their feedback as well. Uh, so if you're not already part of this particular Slack channel, uh, please put yourself in there. All right. Uh, great. Anything else for homepage messaging? All right, moving on. Increasing social activity. So uh, this is where we, and, and we don't have our primary champion on this one, uh, but this is where we are, uh, our goal is to increase the amount of activity that we have on various social channels. So we have Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, you know, so on. So uh, we normally have David Poindexter giving us an update here, but it does not appear that he's here this month. Uh, and and so does anybody else have any updates on this? I have not been monitoring this over the last month, so I don't. I'm not able to uh, intelligently speak to this at this time. I'll just give an outsider's view. This is Jeremy. I continue to see a lot of activity in the Facebook group, and it's nice to see quite a few different people. Uh, it's almost turned into a support forum. Sometimes people are answering complicated questions very quickly out there and it's kind of nice to see and I think it encourages people to uh, see that DNN's alive. I could echo that. Um, on a personal note, I actually do not like it even a little bit because all that information disappears. It's like Facebook is a black hole, but if people are getting help, you know, so be it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I do I'll, think it needs to move it. elsewhere, but I don't know how to make that happen. Exactly. Yeah, I'll I'll just add some uh, comments to that. Um, I, I've kind of been uh, watching the DNN forums and trying to uh, pitch in over there. And in the last several weeks, there have been uh, questions about uh, the repository, uh, not the repository, the reports module uh, and the documents module. And uh, the the issue was uh, 
they don't work in 9.2. And um, to just this morning, Ernst Peter uh, let it be known that uh, that his module, the, re, uh, the reports module, has a 9.2 version available. And uh, Mitchell uh, has a version of the documents module that, that runs in 9.2. So there's some, you know, that's some revivals across a, a couple of areas. I think there also were also some comments about uh, uh, whether or not active forums worked in 9.2. And there were some replies that, you know, yeah, work is going on and, and we're close. So, uh, yeah, it, at least from that kind of an outsider pers perspective, um, the developer community seems to be uh, responding um, to requests. And I hadn't seen things like that happening for a while. Uh, so I, yeah, I think that's um, anecdotally um, good. Yeah, yeah. I've also been seeing a lot of activity uh, around nine one uh, or nine in general. Um, there's been a lot of people upgrading and and asking questions about upgrades and compatibility for for version nine, uh, which is interesting because. Uh, 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 it was kind of a slow burn at first. People weren't jumping, and now it sounds like a lot of people are jumping. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Jumping Does else have... trying to jump. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, does anybody else have any updates about uh, social activity? Anything interesting happened on uh, the various uh, social channels over the past month? Uh, well, from uh, the standpoint that. Um, if, if we consider uh, Addison's uh, stuff is part of social activity, and I think we should, um, you know, Addison and Scott and I did our monthly chat, and I did an online presentation last night to the newly revitalized Toronto um, user group. And I will say that there were at least two Canadians in attendance there. <laughs> And both in the Toronto area. Oh, I'm sorry, three Canadians. Three. Uh, 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 Mike Smelter was the non-Torontoan uh, in attendance. All right. Uh, yeah. So that that uh, you know that went over the social things, but I think that's more for that's a that's a user group thing really. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, all right. So it sounds like we don't have much else going with social activity, uh, especially since we can't talk to David. So let's move on to blogs. I know there's a there was a bunch of blogs that happened over this past month, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so we have somebody in here. That, oh, go ahead. Never mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. But I, I got an email this morning from Dennis. I presume you know about that. Yeah, I was about to say something, but then I thought maybe we shouldn't discuss that over a public channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, blogs. Uh, I did. I have not personally blogged over the past month, but I know there's been a number of blogs that happened. I think we there's it's uh, it feels like maybe double the amount of blogs we had the month before. Anybody have any updates on this one? I'm I'm just going to go look and count. <laughs> so we should give uh, Francisco some props for translating uh, blogs into Spanish. Espanol. There, there are more than 10 blogs posted in April. So it is double. But it feels like it was more than that, even. Single. Where's Enya? I, I get, if, I get 19, 19.
And yay. I can't find any. Screw it. Oh, well. 19, is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, first two, the first two pages, except for the last one, so that's 2 times 10 minus 1 is 19. Wow. So how, how many, does anybody have any, like, feeling of why, why we've uh, increased that so much? Are, are we doing our jobs? Is that is that what's happening? Can we say that? Um, so, some of it has to do with 9.2 uh, program uh, partner updates, tag meetings. Yeah, I'm, I'm back a lot of the um, uh, blogs, uh, the recaps. I didn't come out. Uh, so this is all from Clint. No, no. no, no. It's not all from me. I mean, Clint is the source of all. I mean, yeah, Clint is the victim of Andrew's blog about Cloudflare. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, so. Yeah, ni 19 and only one by Daniel Mettler. So maybe that's a, a two by Daniel Mettler. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say what I just thought. <laughs> anyway, um, well, so with this, it sounds like we, we, we killed our goal. Um, are there any, like, so um, for each of these from now on, what I'm trying to do is also talk, discuss next steps. So what are, what are our next steps for continuing this trend for the next month? Well, recruiting bloggers, which I tried to recruit one off of a Q&A answer. Uh, before the guy had like a persona bar error and he found a solution and I was like, hey, that'd be great for the blog. And he's like, line it up. So I did. Okay. What, what was that? Uh, what was the, the issue that he ran into with that, by the way? You know, Do you remember? He couldn't log into, um, I think Joe had chimed in there too, but he, there was something about when he logged in or he couldn't log in to his site locally the persona bar, and I think it ended up being something about a regex or user setting, something like that. I'd have to look into it. Yeah, I, I had a client over this past month that had a, a persona bar issue, and and I, in trying to fix it, I I, I found that there's like a, like 20 different things that people have run into that that can break the persona bar, and a lot of it is are things that shouldn't happen. Um, you know, it's just things that are, I don't know. Uh, that can happen over time with the DNN site that's been upgraded. Um, but, but yeah, so that's why I'm asking. It's, it's been interesting to see how many different ways uh, the persona bar could have issues. Um, and again, that's not because of the persona bar necessarily. Um, I haven't run into anything where the persona bar doesn't work just because it's a persona bar. It's usually compatibility issues. Uh, yeah, so, um, so Clint's going to be recruiting more bloggers. That's awesome. And that's a great example of the snowball effect. Um, you know, if, if any of you ever run into, like, whether in the forums or otherwise, like somebody saying that they found, figured out this thing, you know, that, that was amazing or, you know, they fixed something that was interesting and difficult to, to figure out, you know, get them in touch with Clint. Clint will get them on the site. They can blog about it. And, and you know, the more we can get people to feel that kind of inclusion, um, the less work we have to do, right? And, and so uh, that's really the goal here. All right. Uh, any other um, updates for next steps for the blogs? <clears throat> Sounds good. YouTube videos and tutorials. I'm not sure if Don G is the actual official champion, and I forget if he's actually in this meeting. Uh, is Don G here? Don, 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 Don. No Don G. Okay, no Don Gingle. Don, Don, uh, Don, sent a, Don sent a message earlier that he had a... a oh, that's right. Issue. Yeah, the client thing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so we have John and I think Addison's on the line, but I don't think he said anything yet. So do we have any updates from uh, John or Addison on this? Oh, Addison, no, we cannot hear you. You know, you have that professional setup. I expect more from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, he, he's he's uh he's reconnecting his audio. I, I can hear you, but it's very low. And somebody else has a lot of office chatter or something. So anybody who's not speaking at the moment, I invite you to please mute. Here goes Addison. He's reconnecting. And now his face is updated in the participant list, so we really know it's him. There's the beat. If you're speaking, Anderson, we don't hear you yet. All right, we'll come back to this one. Uh, Addison, just chime in when you're uh, when you're ready, sir. All right, new and updated extensions. Uh, so we got uh, Jay and Vicente. Uh, Vicente hasn't been here except for one meeting. Um, hopefully he's okay. I know he gets busy, uh, and it's nearing. Well, it's a few months away, but it's nearing his uh, his holiday season. Um, Jay, do you have you done anything in this particular area over the past month? No, I haven't uh, had a chance to really dig into this at all. Um, I, I, mean, I had some initial ideas, but most of my time has been spent on the, the website stuff right now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, I mean, and, and also, I mean, this is um, this group is small. Like uh, right now, we can probably count it as one. Is there anybody else on the call that? Well, actually, first let me introduce this topic. So, new and updated extensions. So, anybody listening or on the meeting, um, this the, the whole goal of this particular area is to increase the number of updates to extensions that, that, have happened, that happen each month. Um, so whether it's a brand new extension, and we're talking a primarily open source, uh, so whether it's a brand new extension that gets released or uh, you know, uh, upgrades to extensions, we're, we want to increase, uh, increase the numbers uh, in this particular area. And, and so that's the point here. So is anybody on the call right now, uh, do any of you want to help with this? And it doesn't mean you have to build it yourself. It, it might be able to execute plans to help other people do these things. So uh, anybody on the call that's not already in this, uh, are you willing to step in and be part of this group? All right. If you change your mind later, Hi. please do let me know. Oh, hello. Yeah, I um, just this is probably where my remarks about uh, the reports and document module um, they yeah. have been updated um, uh, Too Sexy Content has some uh, nice new updates, um, and there's something called Koi that is now built in that will support uh, multiple CSS frameworks, so you can have one module that can figure out what, what CSS framework is there, um, and uh, Mike Meltzer from Newfoundland is planning to release his uh, control panel called Shine. I was going to say Smile, but it's Shine, which is a replacement um, control panel. He's going to release it at CNN Connect. Okay. So is uh, the control panel going to replace, replace the persona bar? Uh, it, I, I believe the answer is yes. Um, but um, not in uh, I, I think that's the intent. Uh, it, he built it to uh, uh, run in seven and eight, and I think what he's been doing the last month has been trying to get it to be a persona bar replacement, but I really don't know what that is or what the statement I made means. So uh, we'll have to wait for him to actually release it. 
All right, so next steps. Uh, well, first, the next step is grow this group. So we need to recruit people to help with this, uh, this endeavor. Uh, Jay, uh, like, you know, he, he's an amazing guy, but we can't have him doing too many things. Uh, so we need other people to help in various areas. And so, again, th this particular goal doesn't mean you have to be building stuff yourself, um, but it does mean that you uh, should be recruiting people to update things and create new extensions and whatnot. Uh, as an example, you know, I was talking to, uh, you know, at DNN, uh, DNN Summit, uh, our good friends at Canteras had released a really cool edition. Um, uh, what was the name of that? Um, uh, uh, Poly Deploy. Poly Deploy, yes. It was, and, it was and, Poly Deploy, and that, yeah, that's the open, open source one. Yeah. Guys, can you hear me now? Hey, we can hear you. All right, we'll get right back to your section in just a second. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, mean, I don't know going on with my computer. I, I have to go on my phone here. Okay. All right. So, uh, so our next steps for this particular area is to grow this group, so that way you can uh, uh, have you know some actual focus on this, because um, you know we we can't have again Jay doing everything. And and, and oh well, yeah, and I was going back to well, that uh, example. Yes. This is Jeremy. I, um, as long as it's not a requirement that you're creating up the, these extensions, I keep really on top of this myself because my job demands it. So I'd be happy to join this group enthusiastically. Awesome. You're now in. Uh, and so if you haven't already, if you're not already part of the Slack channel, uh, you know you can click on the the, the the title for Slack channels, and you can find the channel for this and add yourself to it, and then you know we can start to build a plan. Uh, grow this group and create. Create a plan. All right. So uh, yeah. So uh, as an example uh, for this, I, I just uh, well. I Nobody wants me finish my sentence. sentence. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, um, Paul Scarlett released an update to his um, module, and the name just escapes me at the moment. Maybe Addison, now that he can talk, will remind me. Uh, the, the I'm checking. Uh, it's the 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 SQL uh, grid thingy. SQL grid selected view. SQL grid selected view. Yes. Uh, and that he had to update it to nine point. He upgraded it to nine to work with nine point two. Excellent. Yeah. So, so to and, to and 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 by the way, um, uh, that's the that's the name we haven't heard for a couple of years. So it's nice to see him uh, uh, reconnecting as well. Absolutely. Um, so to move to keep keep this going because we only have 14 minutes left and we have quite a few areas uh, to go through still. Um, the uh, to, to finish my thought process at DNN Summit, you know, they they released a poly deploy, and then you know I immediately started talking to them about like you know why they did it and, and what the goals were and what their plans were for the future, and and so I gave them, you know I, I helped them with some ideas for the next extensions, right? And so I, I don't want to I don't want to uh, ruin their uh, you know their their thunder or take their thunder or whatever, but uh, they have a, another one coming that's going to be pretty cool that uh, all of us uh, will like. And it's something I've been wanting to build for a long time, but I just haven't been able to spend the time on it. So uh, we'll see how that happens. So that's just an example of, you know, I didn't have to build something, but I'm helping somebody else build it, right? They, um, well, uh, they have come out with something. Kentaris is posting something about something called caffeine. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to, but I'm starting to see little murmurs of it, but it did look pretty neat. I'm not sure if that I, I don't know what the name is. Uh, I haven't gotten an update since then. All right. I'll fix this slide later. All right, so moving on to curriculum. Uh, uh, Clint, are you the champion of this one? I may be one of the. I don't know if I'm <laughs> the only. Well, well, I don't know if you want to oh, jump sorry. just quick yeah. at this from here. I don't yeah. know if you want to go back just a second. Uh, so just to give some numbers, I mean, we have put together four tutorials. We are putting together also this 
this Q and this question thing. You know, I actually I'd like to hear. You know, you participated on that once. Uh, Joe did. Clint did. Do you see? Do you see? Do you guys see any value on that? I mean, I just wanted to experiment with that question and then send to people. What do you guys think about that? Honestly, I think this that is Jeremy, that, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So I'll keep doing. So, so my my intention is uh, not not to come up with all the questions, but actually to invite people like you guys, you know, to invite you guys to ask questions, and then and then again have you also ask the questions, you know. So again, I just have to structure that a little bit better. But I'll keep doing that. My, my goal is to do once a week. So in one week I ask. In the following week, I will post it the the stitched version uh, online, and I you know I will promote that. Addison, this is Jeremy. I do really like it, and I just wanted to chime in and say, don't be afraid every two months to repeat the questions. Got um, it. Ask it, the same questions again in two months. Got it. No, no, it, it makes sense. Now I I want to ask you guys your feedback because sometimes it's it's a bit hard to get people engaged. So I'm I'm actually emailing a bunch of people every time, and I don't want to come across as spam, you know, because I don't want to spam people. But at the same time, I want people to engage, and I've seen that the best way to engage is when I approach people via email, not necessarily on social, you know. So I mean, do you guys have any 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 I don't know two cents on that? I mean, should I keep emailing a bunch of people every time? And what's your thoughts? Personally, uh, the email has been helpful for me because um, when I when I get onto any of the social channels, I end up spending a lot of time there. So I I try to limit uh, how much I'm on the social channels. Um, Got it. Because uh, there's just a lot going on. So when I see that email coming through, I'm like, yes, okay. That's because my email is my task list. Um, Got it. So for this particular thing, it is really important to me to participate. Um, and and so uh, that that's been very helpful for me. Awesome. Awesome. So again, if anyone has any suggestions, any recommendations, I mean, by all means, uh, feel free to chime in now or send me, you know, contact me afterwards, please. You know. Yeah, but uh, so so as far as like you know the distribution for that, I think the email is yeah, just what Clint just said. Don't just do it in email. Don't just do it in social. Uh, I think both are good. Okay. Okay. Again, I just don't want to come across as I'm spamming. You know, I'm, and I'm trying to vary the the you know the pool of people that I ask the question one week as compared to the next week. So I'm, I'm trying to vary that as well. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Yeah, you've been doing great for that. Um, so we don't necessarily have a, ch I, I don't know that we, uh, if Don G is a champion for this, so we're gonna, uh, okay, so the next step is figure out who the champion <laughs> is for this. And we're doing great on the, we're doing great on the content. It would be cool if we could double it, um, but we'll, uh, that's something that whoever the champion is or will be, I will figure out. All right, so curriculum. Um, so I think Tracy's supposed to be in this group, um, and this is part of what I was looking at earlier. Uh, there, this is supposed to be two different groups, and I messed it up during the last meeting. Um, but I know we haven't had much um, uh, traction here. Um, but uh, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna fix that before the next meeting. So because we're low on time, we're gonna move on uh, to the next. Uh, section training and courses. So the point of this one is to create and release a training uh, course on some online training uh, venue, right? So there's a number of those out there. And the last we spoke, Tracy and, and Lucas won't, can't be in the meeting today. Uh, they're uh, in a, a client meeting that's running late. Uh, but uh, the last we talked to them, they were um, about, they were very close to releasing their first one, and I forget which website it was on. Um, but uh, next steps, uh, find out if Tracy released their first course yet. Oop, course yet. Um, so yeah, and if anybody else wants to do their own, I mean, the, the, you know, the training courses, these don't have to be you know, like DNN branded. It could be your organization or you as a personal brand creating this course for other people to learn from. So um, there's a number of people that have that expertise. So, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a person or a organization doing this. It could be multiple. Um, so the more, the better. Uh, um, well, I mm -hmm. have in my, in my to-do list, it's Ederson here. I have in my to-do list uh, three courses that I want to put together, but it's admin-wise. 
It's uh, one for content editors, one for administrators, and one for super users, host users. It's on my to-do list to come up at some point on the in Hero. Um, now, again, it's, there will be some free stuff. There will be some stuff that will be behind a, a paywall. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I have that in my agenda. I just don't have a, a date right now, you know. Okay. This is awesome. Yeah. And, and like I said, this does, these courses don't have to be free. They can be on any commercial site as well. So it's, 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 you know, our ecosystem, everything can't be free. So don't, don't feel like you can't like put this on one of the paid sites as well. So, and, and, actually, and, and actually, one of those courses, most likely the first one for editors, my intention is to publish that on, on Udemy as well. Okay. Again, I, I, there's no there is no DNN content on Udemy at all. So I mean, it would be one more place that we have some DNN really content, you know. Excellent, excellent. Yes, that, that that's that's part of the point. Getting our getting our content and our awareness uh, available on multiple channels. So that's awesome, Madison. Thank you. Um, all right, moving on to the next topic, uh, themes. Uh, so Tracy is the champion here. Uh, Tracy is in a uh, in, in, uh, in a client meeting today. Uh, so next steps for this one, I get an update from Tracy. Uh, so they had last we talked to them though. Oh, and so the point of this particular one is to you know DNN has a fantastic theme engine, and there's a ton of uh, commercial themes out there that people can install, but there's not, uh, as, there's not a comparable number of open source themes out there. And, and so you know, the whole point of this is to uh, increase the number of open source themes, especially ones that are uh, you know, more progressive and, and forward thinking, um, you know, have great designs, uh, the increase the number of open source themes that are out there in the ecosystem. So this is something that Tracy uh, um, and his team has been uh, championing, champion, championing. Uh, that sounds like a word. All right, I just can't say it. Um, and, and so they're not in attendance today, but last time we, we uh, talked to them, they were very close to releasing a handful. So um, and for Francisco, you are in the meeting today. Do you have an update on this by any chance? He's been chatting, so I'm going to wait a second in the chat to see if he has an update. Going once, going to there. Oop. His mic doesn't work. Yeah, I kind of figured. And again, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to be creating the things, but if you have the ability to get other people to create things that are open source and get them listed um, and available, um, you know, that's 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 the whole point here. All right, doesn't look like uh, Francisco has an update, so we're moving to the speaker program. Um, cell phone. Okay. Um, all right, so with this one, we have Joe here. He's our champion. Um, I already happen to know what the update here is here, but Joe, can you please? Uh, to the group uh, uh, uh yeah we 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 kind of didn't manage to get anything done uh this last month so we tried scheduling a meeting and had lots of uh logistical issues uh the last kind of semi-official update was we were on hold waiting for some other things to happen uh, so the next step is to get a meeting uh sooner rather than later uh, get updated on what the issues are and make a plan. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's partially my my uh, issue. And and um, and and one of the things that that uh, and this isn't this isn't to to pick on you, Joe, but just anybody in all the channels uh, when you're talking to the group. If, if there's something that uh, you think is important and you need people to respond to in a timely manner, uh, make sure you at tag them. Or if it's for something for everybody in that in that particular channel, uh, make sure you at channel. So you can just do the at symbol, the word channel, and then everybody will get a notification. Um, so anything that's important that people need to to respond to, make sure you um, at them or at the channel, um, and that that'll help with communications. Um, yeah, I, I right. got you. I got your I got your note about that, and I will. 
do that. Yeah, I got so many Slack channels or Slack groups or whatever they're called that <laughs> that like with some of them I know I don't need to get to right away. So if I don't if it, if it doesn't like blink on me, then I'm like, okay, I'll get yep. to that later. I'll read it another time. <laughs> got it. All right, uh, speaker program, thank you. Use your program, uh, Will S. Uh, so I haven't, so the last, so uh, next steps, we we'll do next steps. So this is something I've been championing. Um, so the, uh, the last meeting, uh, I had let everybody know that I have a whole bunch of plans that we had put together in terms of wireframes. Um, and uh, we, I think I even started a shell of a solution, but uh, it, there wasn't enough, I don't think there was enough work to say that it was uh, something that somebody should use. Um, but um, I'm looking for someone to champion this one instead of me. I'll still be part of the group and help, and I'll be handing off all the work I've done so far. Um, and, and I'm just, uh, whoever is willing to do that, uh, please uh, do let me know. Next steps, find someone to be the champion. All right, um, and let's see here. Yeah, so, oh, and the whole point of this, all right, thanks, Jay. The whole point of this, uh, the, the user group program and the speaker program is to increase the number of speakers and user groups that there are out there um, and, and uh, increase the number of sessions being held across user groups uh, in, in you know, the world. So um, in the, the speaker program, there's going to be an on-websites component where, uh, you know, speakers will be able to find information and submit their own, you know, information. And so, you know, user groups can find speakers, speakers can find user groups, and, and speakers and user groups uh, can both find, uh, you know, canned presentations that they can use and so on. All right. So let's get this uh, um, uh, moving. So the, the monthly goals, we want at least five blog articles published to you, at least YouTube videos uh, published. We are crushing those goals. That's great. We're behind on the training course, which is unfortunate. And I think we're, we're on target with our uh, updated extensions. I think we're ahead of it, actually, um, as of this last month. So that's pretty awesome. And these are some of the things that when we get the community dashboard running, uh, these are some of the things that we'll just be able to go there and look and say, hey, look, we meet our goal or we crushed it or we're or not. And then our long-term goals, we're going to, you know, basically we compound those. But uh, I want to get to the open form real quick because we're right on time. Is there anything anybody needs to bring up before we end the meeting? Officially. Everybody's good to go, huh? All right. Uh, we've, co we've covered a lot of ground. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, I, I kind of like the new format of talking about next steps. Um, and, and if anybody has any feedback about that, feel free to post it in the Slack channel. Uh, you know, like, this is our group. This isn't my group. So anything that we can do to improve it, you know, always let me know. Uh, with that being said, it sounds like there's no open forum comments. So I'm going to stop the recording. And then if there's anything that we want to discuss outside the recording, we'll do that. And then we'll end the meeting. Okay, one second. <laughs>